What's up? It's your favorite girls in the whole wide world. And it's time for another episode of... The Bang Bang! Anyway. Hi, guys! Oh, You said you wanted to... No, I just wanted to up. talk about the Rajay Black situation. Who the is? guy in, Bal- in uh, Baltimore. The guy who on Facebook killed his ex gr- shot his, his girlfriend in the head and went to... Okay, so I found out that the children were in his car at the time of, of the murders. The children were in his car at the ex-wife's house. So when the police pulled up, the kids were in the car and they both were dead in the house. That is definitely... This man walked away from his children knowing he wasn't coming back. That is definitely on our docket for what you call it. Because it's been... I I named it Domestic Violence December. And it's... I mean, we just got into this fucking month. We just, we just got here, guys. And it's already lit with stories of... People just getting beat on. People getting either beat on or killed or stalked mm. or, like it's it's a lot. But we are gonna get into that a little bit more on um, yeah. on celebrity bullshit. Cause baby, them stories is popping up left and right, and it's like, and you know what? I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it because we're gonna go into detail on that shit later on. I will say, over the past weekend, we did get a chance to indulge. Y'all know we asked the question. Some of y'all got it right. Some of y'all got it wrong. I don't know how, but, you know, pay attention, clearly. But, you know, our beloved Milan is a Sag. Her birthday is coming up. We accept what we got. What we got? Cash App, Zelle. 12-15. Tomorrow. So, shout me out on Celebrity Bullshit. Thank you. Because <laughs> clearly there is a celebrity in the building. But, yes, the 15th. Honorable mention. Milan will be turning 21 all over again because we don't move any further than that in this house. Okay? We drink our water, we mind our business, and we are forever 21. Like the store. Don't do that. But, yes, honey, we got a chance to indulge me some really good people. The networking was great. Like, it was amazing. And when you walk into a room and people don't say, hi, are you needy or are you tiny? They say, Hi. Are you the big B? Yes. Yes, I, we are. We didn't go to Lotto. It was like like a two second pause because I, I was, was like, like <gasps> <laughs> it was though. It was. It was. It was like a. Am two I second. getting pumped? <laughs> like yes. Like, what you know about like, me, girl? Look, I was like yes. Look, I'm like tiny. We got the hoodies on, bitch, and I don't know so much. I'm just on my wrist. <laughs> like what's, what's up? But it feels great. And I can't wait for that to be the norm, bitch. I can't wait for me to be in public. Like, oh, my God, please. I'm just here for some biking. And y'all be running me down like, oh, can we please? Can you from? Look, I'm signing titties like Nikki. I'm signing babies. Look, I'm going to have a little stamp. Uh-uh, COVID, give me your hand. Boop. <laughs> like, follow. <laughs> Look, like Tyler, like Skyler say, like, scribe, follow. <laughs> so, pull up on the channel. But anyway, we're going to get into these topics, child, because, Lord. Have mercy. If you could choose one song to play every time you walk in the room, what would it be? I want everybody in here to answer that. I want to know what y'all theme song is, child. I'm going around. Mm-hmm. All right. What's your theme song, Milan? At this moment, it's, it's what? Bust the Move. I was just about Future to say, Bust the Move. Lil Uzi. Future and Lil Uzi. I could see that. That's all you heard at the party. Like we might look, just look, put the little one inside the circle and just let let it wrap around. Kim Bay, what's your song? Anything off Hippie Hood World. I know that's right. Period. Where the fuck you at? I know that's huh? right. Huh? Where the fuck you at? I know that's right. And if you don't know what that is, then that means that you need to do your homework and go and listen to them motherfuckers on all platforms. I'm the DJ. I'm also the manager. I produce the beats. I also go out and find all. I'm just saying. But I do hold the dime. I'm the wife CEO slash manager slash what I do, what else I do? I do the hair, the makeup, I do his nails. No, I'm joking. But anyway, bitch, I do, I hold it down. You the wife. You seen that you seen it. the episode of SpongeBob where Patrick and him is domesticated, they the husband and wife. And he come back and SpongeBob be doing all that shit with all his different hands and shit. That's how I that's that's how I feel. Foot be doing some shit, titty doing some, arm doing some. Ah, Ah, and I still be in the bed on time. Ain't that right, Milan? 
It's too close to your birthday to be lying. Okay, understandable. We don't want to mess that up. We still believe in Santa here. I'm <laughs> joking. But no, um, mine. Mm, I got to say, um, amazing, Kanye West and uh, Jeezy. That shit do something to me. Please know when I come through the door. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Cause bitch, it's amazing. Cause I am. Just know. But I want this shit. Okay, what's yours, honey? What? That's my shit. Good time by Carla Ray Jepsen in Owl City. Of course. Yes. Wasn't it on Disney Jam? Nope. Okay. Carla Ray. It's always a good time. Oh, Lord. <laughs> good morning and good night. Honey, what song is that? It's I'm trying. I'm trying to piece it. I'm over here like a broke Shazam. <laughs> we don't even have to try. It's always a good time. Okay, I know what you're is talking about. Like one of them like party songs. Yes, yeah. upbeat. Meow, 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 meow. I play it for the really for real for real. I play it for the kids in the morning on the way to school. Look, I'm like the only time I ever heard that was at kids entertainment places. So I'm just like, I'm just of saying. course. Of course, yeah, I mean, it was know. it was one of them. No, it was literally a, a like when it came out, it was like a breakout summer song. Hell yeah! Around, a lo- alongside uh, "Lights" by Ellie Golden, and yeah, but fire, "Fireflies." You would I believe, yeah. That's eyes. my shit. He's in the, his, that artist. That's Al said. He's in. The that's song, my shit. It's like all of that dubstep shit. Like that's when it started. Like Hell yeah. Band. But it, I think I, I feel like that's why we end up QJ getting pound a, the alarm because that was real. When I played good, yeah, that was around that time. Yes, girl. Yep, either amazing. It's a, either amazing or Nikki's verse on Monster. Because it was like, why the fuck she eat like that? What made her be like? I'm just gonna go in here and just murder these two phenomenal male rappers. I'm just gonna just. Yeah. They're not gonna give a fuck about y'all verse. At all. At all. <laughs> she don't come to play any fucking way. But that's what I'm saying, though. I miss I miss that pen. And I'm not saying that it's gone. I'm just saying, like, that I, was the I, aggressive I life. I feel Blah. like she done been quiet for so long that I think she might be bringing it back. I'm, and I'm excited. I'm excited. She done she devoted all her time to Papa shit. Bear. Like. With his cute, chunky self. I mean, so. she done did her little features, but, like, her shit, though, I feel, um, I ain't gonna, I feel like being a mom is like a. Girl. Like at Milan's party. When our friend asked, she said, so, um, Tiny, what do you do for a living? I said, I'm a mom. Because, I mean, the shit is, <laughs> it, I mean, it is a job. I did, for real. I'm a mom. It's a lot. Like, it's a lot. So, just imagine, like, what's finna come out She's of so her. cute. She's wearing that two-piece, honey. She was wearing that goddamn dress. That, that, that was another fine one, by the way. Yes. I was like, go on, girl. Was she was. She was. She was. What is a hidden talent you have that people may know about or not know about? Cooking. Really? You I'm said? a really great cook. Really? Yes. Oh, shit. I'm a really great cook. I might sacrifice my kitchen one day. <laughs> Go ahead. See if I need to You know, But you know how finicky I am about the kitchen, though. Like, mm-hmm. that's why, though. Because, like, if I'm cooking, like, I don't want to look. I don't, I don't, I just want to, it's like a zone. Like, mm-hmm. for instance, like, when you're doing your body butters, right? All my shit need to be where I need it. It's right there where you need it, but you okay. enjoy it so much that you you're able to move at whatever flow 
You know yeah, what I'm okay. saying? You yeah, don't need it. So that's how it is for me. And then like I like how you like making new fragrances and see how they mm-hmm. work. I like creating you new trying flavors. out different. I shit. love different flavors. Like, I've come to the realization that, like, seasoning don't make food. It can be, like, the herbs. And Hell, like, yeah. You know what and I'm see, saying? And see, that's what this one is trying to get me to understand about vegan foods. Like, that's what. That's you, another thing. That's where you I made someone a, a vegan burger the other day and tricked them with it. And it was just, like, bump. Because that's I where you afterwards. find out all of your, your flavors, where you yes. pull all your, your seasonings and, and all that stuff. Just, and challenge yourself. Just peppers. Girl. Just Peppers. Peppers and a little bit of seasoning. Like, not too many dark seasonings, though. What you get, unless you're doing something that's just meant for it. But I don't come, I, I really what like it. What you doing with the peppers? You just eating peppers and seasoning? Pepper, no, it's, I read a book one you time. You have a hard booty hole. No, I read a book one time, um, and it was about some mafia shit. But anyway, the dudes were, like, Italian. And in the book, he was, uh, in the book, he was explaining to his, he was, he was helping his dad cook in the kitchen. This story. bitch is cooking organized crime. No, I'm not, guys. Uh, listen, the point is, the boy was cooking with that his dad. That is not a dish. And his dad was in a. He was he was a, an Italian. Italian man normally Can, know how to down, cook. Right? Yes, man. So he was explaining to his son. He was like, "These Americans really don't understand what cooking is. Mm. They don't understand that just the right pepper or the right onion or you know what I'm saying. Your your uh your ingredients." No, it's just your peppers can make a meal. Mm. That's what he was basically saying. Like, all you need is pepper to make the meal or your herbs. Like, fresh thyme leaf, bay leaf, like, shit like that. Everything fresh, like, from a so garden. So, for the people that can't fresh make tomatoes. rice, they just need to put a pepper in it. No, to make rice, you just cook it, y'all. Like, oh, I hate that. That is so aggravating. Nene, talk it's about hard. the next topic. It's I don't hard talk for, about this shit no more. It is hard for people to make. Rice is one of the hardest no, things the for people to not. cook. I have it's to, not hard I have to for call you. my cousin right now and tell her, people. I mean, you find your little ways or you eat in the, you know. You or get read the back of the bag. I was, or you can, or read the back of the bag. If you are a smart lady and you don't feel like dealing with all this shit, you better go and get them three bags of success or rice. Or read the back of the bag. God damn it. You better get that boy in the bag and move on. It'd it be brown rice, multigrain, white rice, any, any flavor that you need. Whatever. Or you um, can just read the back of the bag. You know, black people don't like reading instructions no way. That's because our ancestors we never got that. Our ancestors didn't have shit to read from because we schools. couldn't read. So what you had to do, you had to feel it in your and knuckles that this shit was going to be right. And if it was wrong, they threw that shit out and they made you start all the but way But you don't over. do that when you mess up rice. You just eat it as is. Like, oh, no. It. What that man say? No, when you fuck up the rice, you have to make rice all over again. Yeah, you, you do for real. You don't get to start it over. You if you fuck either. rice up, you fucked it up and you have yeah. to, from the top, make it drop. Period. Um, Indeed. I can pretty much mimic anything. Whether it be a person. Yes. A noise. Yes, you can. An accent. And yes. it got me in a lot of trouble <laughs> as a child because at the, it would be on the TV. And then, of course, it would go to commercial. I would turn the TV off. And then I would be the one making the shit around the house. And my mom, what the hell is that? What is that? He's like, Mom, it's me. I wish you just, I wish you wouldn't do that damn shit. It's so, like, <laughs> so, yes, I can mimic a damn near anything. With a sound, a person, it's just really... It's a gift and a curse. My poor husband. <laughs> Me right here going through it. Baby, I be making some weird ass noise in this house. That? I have no clue, girl. It's it's so sad. And it's... <laughs> Thankfully, it doesn't come out around everybody. Milan <laughs> has gotten a, a dose of it because she be here. But... Can't make it the worst. And he just, he just be shaking his head. I feel so bad <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. He loved me anyway. But yeah, Tiny can cook and I'm weird. You learn something every day. Every day. Mirror, mirror, mirror.
Last but not least, what celebrity do you feel is a perfect 10? Like their looks, career, perfect spouse, their social life is popping, the bank seems to be doing what it do. Like, who do you feel has their shit together? Taylor Swift. What no her 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 relationships her love life are might shit. Be trash, but she's she's, she's a good girl. She makes she is not a. She let me tell y'all money. something. I understand that men have their flaws. I understand that you that you have to go through one or two fuck boys in order to find your prince trauma. You might even go through three or four. It's possible, you know, that every man that you meet is not going to be prince charming. Prince charming. Right. But every no, 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 Dana, it's a problem. I yeah. need you to start looking between those shiny shoulders. Jennifer Lopez has been married and remarried a lot of times. I need her to look <laughs> between the. Can't do it. But she married. Nobody. But that's the same thing. And the crazy part about this, and I want to talk about that. Other women in the industry, they can, they maybe they like, like I will give the one person I would talk about the most, Janiyah. All we knew Janiyah with was with Young Boy, and then she ended up messing with Devin. Now there's a speculation about her doing whatever with Vaughn, but until the paperwork shows the receipts, otherwise it's, it. it's talk. Because Kayla is just an angry thing, and I I don't wish any harm to her. But if she it's ever just, just fell backwards down really the steps weird. and couldn't talk anymore, I don't think we would be harmful about that. It's but anyway, um, after she ended up dating um young boy ended up dating De- uh, Devin Haney oh she a hoe oh this that, and the third oh Lori Harvey I've been through all these this that, and the third you never hear nothing about Taylor Swift oh she just she just has a a bad pick of men or she just been through so much her relationships they ain't talking her or calling her a whole dog her out you don't hear nobody dogging Jennifer Lopez are you hear them talk shit about the fact that she got the infinity ring gone because all the niggas that she done been engaged and married to but it's never the same context when you hear them talking about other celebrities and them dating. It's not yeah. the same yeah. when other celebrities date and they end up date other people. You automatically a hoe. But you automatically clear, pass around. I saw nothing wrong with Lori Harvey. Me either. <laughs> I saw absolutely me either. Nothing wrong I don't with see Lori anything. Harvey. You are dating. And I feel like, they, I feel no. like I, like I said before, I feel like celebrity is just like, it's just like a big famous high school. Yeah. Y'all all around the same motherfuckers all the time. The same parties, the same get together, the same all white event, the same all black event, the same mm-hmm. little God, baby part. Like you mm-hmm. got Concerts. all type of stuff. Y'all around the same people. So you're going to cross paths with these folks. And even if it ain't necessarily your event, if you go with your homegirl who's also famous, you damn pro- you probably going to run into them at her event, not even yeah. necessarily just your shit. So it's like you, you can't come away from the fact that them dating in that, in that era, in that market, especially if you like, like Milan said, when you are – and up and coming and you hot and you yeah. in the moment, you you're gonna be in that arena. You're mm-hmm. gonna be around in that circle. Like the situation with um what you call it in Ghana. Like she's yeah. hot right now. He yeah. he doing his thing. So mm-hmm. it, it will only make sense. Yeah. But you know how I'm feeling about that. But so anyway, that, but it's just like But I get that I don't though. I don't I don't care for that. I really don't. I feel like, yeah. But I okay, honey. I just made her a team Cor- because- Career wise, she career does wise, the damn things. The numbers are there. We, we're not talking about I remember career. Nikki. Yeah, career, look, spouse, social status, and my, like, like all around. Oh. They look like they got this shit together. Like her career, I feel like she she has had a bomb ass career though through and through. Taylor. Yeah. Yeah. That's that that, that portion of her has yeah. never been at question. Um, that, I don't know. I mean, I would say my first, of course, y'all already know it's going to be the queen. Yeah. You get what. You get from her, and it's designated for a motherfucker to be able to go and have pictures that they didn't like deleted, not just from certain sites, but just you can't get to them hoes at all. Period. That's 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 big. There is audio to that motherfucking oh, I got fight in the Washington. elevator. Yeah, I can see him. He's always been unproblematic. Very his career. Yeah, fine. he's been with his wife since the beginning of his career. He really Miss Pauline, I mean, Paula. He, yeah, he is does Pauline so much or Paula? care for a social life, but everyone in the social life knows. I think it's who it Pauline. Is. He's he's not into the social life now. No, it's but Paula Washington. Everybody yeah. know if you bring him, like who doesn't know who Denzel Washington is? Period. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, Denzel. My is is Beyonce. My second one was going to be Joy. I feel Why? like who is her spouse? Who's her spouse? I feel like Joy is perfect. Why? 
I thought we couldn't name people without spouses no more. Joy. Joy. No, I had I had to do it. I had to do it because I knew them eyes was gonna pop up. I was like, <laughs> Joy is on. She is. Sin? No. What'd you give her? Seven. Nah, but for real, my other person was gonna be Sierra. I feel like she's doing her thing. Sierra, I was she's found. That. She's definitely she's found, found her love. lane. Yeah, love, and she's love found her lane. lane. She oh, should man. have always been in fashion, girl. You are long yeah. and you are statuesque. You have a beautiful figure. You're gorgeous. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen your hair be out of place or look in the mess. The weave is always where it needs to be. Yeah. So yeah, I feel like yeah. her, Beyonce, Denzel Washington, who else? Like they they a one Angela Bassett, I agree. Auntie has been she's been married this entire time. No scandals, no scandals. But do y'all feel like it ain't been Never no scandals? Never won a fucking Grammy. But but do y'all feel a Grammy? An Emmy. Emmy, yeah. She's never won an say, Emmy. What? Well, she did. She look. She's saying that she had a what? No, you think? What I'm saying though, for for her not to. Come on now. Not even just what uh, Black Panther, like a lot of stuff that she's been yeah, in. She still got a roof back. Girl. Like she should have she should have That's weird as fuck Who to else? me. She's awesome. Who you think have a, a perfect ten as a career though? Oh God. Not even Denzel? Like actor wise, I think some of these folks just got enough money and a, a good enough team for us to never hear about that shit. But hey, that's a part of you. Listen, that's life, though. You human. Of course, some shit don't went down. But why is the media so heavily invested in artist business versus like actors? It's like you hear way more about like because actors are actually doing shit year round, not trying to be funny. But when they filming a movie, it's literally taking them two years to film a movie. They they doing shit. Uh, artists mm-hmm. they be sitting there, they record music, then they go out to the club scene. You never see actors on the club scene like that. But like the they do a time, lot of shit differently. Like really, but at the same time, they, like, get DUIs. Or yeah, other you than ain't. Me, but you don't. You don't hear. You don't. Hear you ain't cause working that hard. Because remember, Robert, Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart was fucking when they was making what you call it, and she was supposed to be day the damn director. So they. they they be just, they be just as janky. I mean, but I, I feel it, like the artists. I f- this, I feel like because that, if you think about it, we watch movies, we we entertain TV, but music, music, music yeah. is from the time you get up until you go to sleep. Right. Like, because yeah. I don't have, I don't have to be looking at music for me to be able to enjoy it. You get what I'm saying? Like, I can't be at my job I just, looking at but something you never, on my but screen. But you never see but I can an have out my in the same scene in. as a music artist, though. You just don't. Like when, uh-uh, them motherfuckers be mixing and mingling. But what I'm saying is Athletes, like, too. But I just, I don't know, you just don't. Because I feel like, because I feel like if yeah. Zack Sabre was a rapper, him beating the fuck out of that girl like that would have got ten times more play than it did. You almost had to go digging and looking for that story when it right. took place. But had it been Ghana or Future or, or any of the, the, the front runners right now, Thug and all them, had it been any of those people... And it, I believe it the, most been they, the most they talk about with actors is what divorce. Yes, um, they re- they that's really it. They relationships they with artists. The, they talk about everything, they evictions about divorce, and all, child. DUIs with them, and that'd be about it. Like y'all see this a whole special about uh, what's his name, the one who shot the shot that person by mistake. Yeah, Baldwin. Yeah. He got a whole sit down to have a conversation about that. Do you believe he did it? On purpose? I don't think he did it on purpose. Do you believe it was? I feel accident? like he was. I feel like he was playing with what he perceived to be a prop gun, and some shit went I around. I believe that as well. I don't think he meant to take nobody life. Like, I don't. I don't the question know. is, who the hell put the real girl? Gun on set? And that's who need to be hired. Yeah, who? That's your the real ass. Gun on set? That's your ass. I feel so bad for the family and him as well. Yeah, because now I'm dealing with all this shit that I I ain't trying to fucking kill nobody, bitch. Yeah. But it also doesn't look good. Because he's an actor. Not only that, but you've had, you know, um, the instance before with your daughter when you left that, that uh, voicemail to her. So you, they could probably use that as like you being aggressive what could possibly be. Because, girl, he was cussing her ass out. I think she was like 11. He called her a little filthy pig. Girl, yeah, he cussed her ass clean out. Oh, it wow. was sad. 
it's not I'm not laughing. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah. Well, Amazing is my song. You said you like Carter Ray Jetson and the Beatles or whatever them, them people says. His name is Al City. Al yeah, Al City. So Carter Ray Jetson, Al City. I um, can do the other good time too. What's the other good time? Is it my by the black eyed peas? Nope. Lady Antebellum. I like Lady Antebellum. They have a song called Good Time. Do, I, I, do they sing my song? It's a quarter after one. Mm, I need you. That's my sh- girl. She sang that shit. Good Time is um, my shit. Was that Lady I don't think that's Lady Antebellum. The song is called Stuck on You. I love that song. I'm saying to you later. I ain't about to give y'all this voice for free <laughs> on this good camera Mm-mm. Anyway, we finna get into this viewer question. Hold on, let me go and pull it up. Cause this was a good one. I would like. Okay. I would like everybody's input in the everybody in the dressing room, please. Everybody, if you tuning in. Where you going at? Um. Period. <laughs> <laughs> everybody in. The, okay. So here we go. Woo. Oh, Lord. I hate my job. Girl, join the club. It's exhausting. It's taking time away from my family, and it's definitely not what I see myself doing. I currently do nails and hair, and I want to take the leap of faith to finally rely solely on that for income. Should I take the leap or keep my ass on the porch and shoot for it next year? I feel like that depends on... I guess what your revenue looks like from both of those, if you feel like it's going to be able to float your, your bills and your chills and your thrills, then I say do that shit. If you don't, if you don't have to clock in to somebody something, then don't. Then don't. Be your own boss. Because normally people who are looking to make the entrepreneurial jump or take that path, they're using their work money to fund what it is that they're doing so that they could be the sole income. But if you, if you feel like your nails, if you, I hear trapping and rapping nails like that, and you're doing hell like that. I don't. Look, yeah, I'm a firm believer in your own time being your own time. And if it's possible to do it, then I say do it. Because we are in the time of the entrepreneur, honey. And there is no age limit. And I had to learn that shit. Like, there is no age limit on getting your shit done. You can hit your millionaire setting in your you know your late 40s your late 50s now you probably yeah. can't you know high girl summer but as much as you want but at least you'll achieve your but goal. your kids and their kids and they'll everybody be they'll be straight and that's that's what you want at the end of it all like i, I remember kimba and i were looking at a documentary where a guy how long was he waiting to take that picture uh, like 16 years like years over a decade to get a it's, it's like you know, photographers get the one shot, like the the sun is just right coming over the mountain. Yeah. It's like natural settings and shit. Yeah. So he waited that long for the right weather, the right cloud setting, yeah. the right this, that, and third thing to be able to take the picture. And it's like, what? We don't have time for that. We got to go to work taking the damn yeah. picture. 16 years. You better get it. Clock right. your ass in. So it's like. For, for your child not to have a worry about where their money is going to come from. Just I can actually do. Going. I can do what I want to do without having to worry about is this going to keep my lights on. Yeah. I can actually pour myself into the craft more because I'm not worried about where my next meal is coming from. I'm straight. Yep. Like that's the end goal. I agree. What you think? I agree. I agree. Cause you, I mean, at the end of the day, like your children are like your reason for doing anything. Absolutely. I, I would hope, you know what I'm saying? Right. So and, I, um, Hey, yeah. if you feel like it's going to work, boo, I say do it. Yeah. If you if you have enough clientele to support Clint everything, Davidson, what y'all think? Nobody can see that. I think. Come on, Crump. That of course you should quit your job and continue to do that full time. Simply because that right there, honestly, it depending on like how big her clientele is. And even if it's not as big, she could, you know, you got to do what you got to do. But it's a very growing business. Yeah. It's a like very People want to always want their hair and their and nails, nails done. done. They're always it's like, that's I would just throw it. I would, I would do a test run, though. Like, if I had any vacation time at work, I would take it. I would use that vacation and see time. What you, and then set up appointments throughout the entire, like, let everybody know who does get their nails. Like, I, 
y'all can book an appointment every day this week at, from this time to this time. Because it seems as though she only has a certain availability as well. Right, because she working. Right. right. But I would test run it, though, before I just, like, if I, if, mm-hmm. if, like, in my dream world, if I had some, you know what I'm saying, PTO that I could take to just dedicate it to that just for one week, mm-hmm. war, like, warn everybody, like, a week or two before, and then just set up the website and let everybody book up book it up if if it go like that then yeah i'm quitting that's the i feel like that's the end goal is to not have to yeah work for the man but yeah pretty much the the government government. you make your own shit i feel like that's the end goal for everybody so but yeah like if if you would rather see how i go first before you make the final decision you can do what tiny said and you know take your time off of work, whether it be a week or two weeks or however long you got to, to do whatever. Yeah. Take that time, you know, measure out, okay, well, I was able to make such and such off of these, you know, these few days, whatever. I got this bill coming up. You know, do do your math, figure that shit out, and go from there, honey. It's but worth it. I'm, yeah. I'm a big fan of you. If you ain't got to clock in nobody's shit, do not. Don't. And if you're worried about the taxes and all the other shit, trust me, people would, would show you how to do that shit and file correctly so you could get all your goodies. Okay, but that is all the time that we have today. We do thank you so much for joining in to debate, baby. We love I loved you. our topics today. It was great, honey. Definitely, we had the. I know, I don't know. I know, I know. But I want to make sure that when we do do the episode, that we give everything that we have to give. For Absolutely. That, so. No, we, we do. A, we like we, we like for a, shit to be. We had a system meltdown today. It's okay, <laughs> but but we, I love it here. We look. We figured that shit out. We figured yeah. that shit out. But yes, that's that's the real, the behind the scenes, the real shit. The yeah. Up in the morning, trying to figure this shit out. Cause shit is like, oh, oh, oh. But it be like that, and here we roll with the punches. So it is what it is. But. We love you guys. Thank you so much for joining us again on the couch. We'll see y'all next time. You know what it is. We drop every Wednesday and Friday. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow the goddamn IGs and TikToks and Twitters and shit. All of the above. We love y'all. We out. Bye, y'all.